Hey yo everyone, welcome back to another Terraria, or should we say Minecraft video? I don't know, because if you couldn't tell by the title, we're going to be trying to turn Terraria into Minecraft, which is actually not the hardest task, but obviously we're going to need a few mods slash modifications here. I tried my best wrangling up mods that had, you know, Minecraft content, Minecraft related content, whether it's vanities, tools, swords, mobs, all of that, and to be honest, there's not that many, but you know, some things aren't feeling too Minecraft like yet. I think I think, I think we need to, you know, do a, a quick change to turn stuff into a more Minecraft vibe. So let's go ahead. Let's let's change that. But first, a word from our sponsor. So today's sponsor is BenQ. Now, most of you may know them for making some of the best monitors in the game right now. But BenQ went ahead and sent me a lamp to do a product review on. So let's talk about that lamp. So they sent me the BenQ e-reading lamp. And you may be asking, what is so special about this lamp? Well, there's actually a lot of things and I'm going to list them here. So let's start with how this lamp has an extra wide and even brightness distribution that means this lamp has a 35 inch coverage which lights up your whole entire workspace another goal of this lamp is to greatly reduce glare lighting this allows you to work on your desktops your laptops your ipads without your eyes being sore after a long period of time but i think my favorite feature personally is the smart e-reading mode the smart e-reading mode has an ambient light sensor that detects the lighting in your environment and will adapt and help you read off the screens more easily so make sure to check out the lamp the link will be down below in the description thank you again benq for sponsoring this video let's get back to it you know this is pretty minecraft like with all the 3d aspect and all but i feel like our character can use a little something i don't know there we go i think i think that's perfect that honestly might be perfect we're as mushroom as we can get and uh we're in our little 3d world here we even got a nice little minecraft type walk but uh i don't know i feel like we can mess with the 3d a little bit more to make it more out of better i guess is the word to use but you know let's not worry about that too much instead let's get to the part you've been waiting for and that is to see some minecraft items so let's go ahead let's check a couple out all right so i changed the camera angle a bit here and uh let's go ahead let's check out our first chest here oh, it's not really a chest our first trash can filled with minecraft items not really filled but there's a couple in here as you can see the pickaxes from minecraft now like i said there's not exactly a lot of mods that add in minecraft stuff to terraria which game is a big surprise to me because the games definitely have very big similarities and they're both games that will be placed among the hall of fame of video games because they're both great games but yeah the mod this is from is just called minecraft items redo of minecraft pickaxes also made by me kind of a narcissistic title it could just be minecraft pickaxes because there's only five four items i'm pretty sure this mod hasn't updated in months but yeah we got the wooden pickaxe here it's got murderous on it i i, I don't think a wooden pickaxe would ever be murderous in any situation but we got this here let's go ahead let's mine some uh stone with it it's actually pretty fast unless i have a buff on here let me let me take all these off maybe i do have a buff on Okay, so yeah, it's okay speed once I turn off the buff, but you know, it's still pretty fast nonetheless. I think this might be faster than honestly the copper pickaxe. I'm not sure. I don't, I don't really pay attention to the copper pickaxe speed. I just know it's one of the slowest pickaxes. Moving on to the stone one. Let's go back over here and kind of just make a little, little area we can burrow into. And this is also pretty fast. I think this is honestly might be faster than like an iron pickaxe. Um, I guess we can look at the power for these. 40% power, 40% power. And these are all material. I'm assuming these all craft into each other. Am I right? Yeah, they all craft into each other. Uh, except for the diamond one, obviously, because there's nothing past the diamonds unless, I don't know, you're playing modded Minecraft. But uh, let's go on to the iron one, and we can test out here on an enemy. Nice, did decent damage. It also has a legendary reforge on it, which is a beautiful thing to see in Terraria. This thing, this thing is fast. This thing has some speed on it. And moving on to the diamond pickaxe, which obviously I expect to be the fastest of all of them. And look at this. This thing is up there. I think this might even be a hard mode pick. I don't know. I don't know how you get these other than crafting them into each other. I guess it all starts where you get the wooden pickaxe. So let's see. So you get the wooden pickaxe with just 105 wood, which means you might be able to get OP really quickly. What do you need to make a stone one? Just a workbench? And then what about iron? Just an anvil. Okay, what do you need for a diamond one? Oh, you need 
15 magical bars which is added in from this mod so let's go ahead let's check that out uh, i don't think that's really a minecraft thing but you know might as well check it out anyways if anyone's curious so you need silver bars and you need compressed ectoplasm which is also from this mod so yeah it does seem like it's hard a hard mode thing post plantera and post uh, golem actually with the ectoplasm so uh yeah i think i think that's fairly balanced all right i changed the angle yet again obviously minecraft is a first person game but i don't know if we can get first person in terraria i might be able to mess with the controls a little bit the camera controls a little bit and see if we can do that but i'm not sure about that one but yeah let's go ahead and move on to the next set of minecraft stuff and that is swords yes sir we got the wooden stone iron gold and diamond sword i just noticed there's no gold pickaxe i guess it makes sense but uh, I, f I feel like they should have put it in made it like a fast but not strong pickaxe just like how gold is in uh vanilla minecraft but yeah we have the wooden sword stone sword iron sword gold sword and diamond sword these things i'm assuming are going to bring some destruction to some terraria mobs so let's go ahead let's put these to the test so let's go ahead let's start with a simple slime here and it does good damage let's actually check it might do a little bit more because it's godly but it says 17 melee damage a sword from another reality they're not lying they're not lying let's go ahead let's test it on a couple of slimes at once and see how good it is uh, the guide kind of interfering with that i'm gonna just uh pick you up real quick and toss you over there so let's go ahead let's check out the stone sword now now i expect most of these to be the same in terms of uh speed they're running away let's, let's spawn them this way yeah i expect them to be pretty much the same in terms of speed and damage just slowly rising up i don't obviously see anything special going to happen unless they're enchanted i don't know future future terraria slash minecraft mod crossover enchanted weapon mod i don't know i guess you can consider reforges enchantment but i don't think there's a fire aspect reforge is there obviously obviously there is next up the iron sword of course the trusty weapon probably one of the weapons you use the most before you get diamonds especially with my usual luck of never being able to find diamonds in vanilla minecraft no matter what i do but next up is the golden sword i'll show off all the stats in a second but uh you know let's just put them to the test first i should probably spawn things to the right of me uh, especially since you know i have my camera angled like this and uh, we're going to check out the uh, diamond sword now, which is going to be the best. Let's go ahead. Let's just check out the stats. So this one is 25, 61, 16, and the diamond sword is 72. And we will also check out the recipes in a second. So this thing is actually pretty brutal. This thing seems like it does a lot of damage, especially to mobs that don't obviously don't have defense or good defense. And it's just crushing these blue slimes in one swing. But yeah, let's check out the recipes now. Let's see if they even have recipes in general. Let's just type in sword here. Okay. Might be a little hard to find. Oh, no, there they are. Wooden sword is 20 wood stone is wooden stone uh iron geez i guess because it does 61 it souls a knight so that's a hard mode weapon what about the gold one gold one you can get pre hard mode but it does less damage so you know we're sticking to how it is in minecraft and the diamond one 15 diamonds solar might solar fright so this thing you cannot get until you beat some mechs so that that means it must be pretty damn good right all right so the next thing we're gonna be checking out is made by a bunch of my fellow discord mods slash mod creators in my discord that also have their own mods uh so shout out to i don't know if i'm gonna get all of them is pudis dav rev miami which if you guys know rev he makes a lot of mods and helps me out with a lot of things i think ali nova prime a bunch of other people you know in my discord that are mod devs and or sprite you know they they helped out with this so sorry if i miss anyone there but they made this beautiful mod for me in a very short time and you know i feel like just showing off some diamond swords and pickaxes wouldn't have, wouldn't have been that good of a video so why not show off a couple of minecraft mobs as you can see here we got the chicken we got the cow we got the mushroom the pig and the sheep i'm pretty sure there's more coming but i'm not sure if this mod is you know released to the public but this is beautiful this is beautiful look at the chickens oh my god oh my god no we gotta test out the diamond sword on them they don't drop anything i'm pretty sure they're just critters but you know we gotta check out all of them they look beautiful i love when like terraria stuff and minecraft stuff like combines together it's really fun to see them on both sides for example like a terraria resource pack from minecraft beautiful honestly i was gonna do a video about that what happened to the video i don't know it just i just never got around to doing it same thing with minecraft items being in terraria i love the way how a 3d thing is sprited and looks like for example this mushroom outfit which is from the juice mod by the way if, if you guys are wondering this mushroom outfit is really dope it walks like a minecraft character does and it's how i would expect a minecraft model would look in a 2d plane but i guess in this case it's kind of wearing a 3d plane but yeah let's go ahead let's check out the pig now and they, they look a little a little weird with the little 3d stuff on them i can make them look even more weird so given given that you know i think they look pretty decent 
kill you two. Did I check out the mushroom? We'll save, save the mushroom for last. And of course, the sheep. Beautiful. Don't think you can die them. Not yet. I don't know. That might be a future feature. And of course, you can see the similarities here. We look pretty much identical. Honestly, they probably asked Juice. Juice probably helped out with making this mod too. But they probably asked Juice just to, if they can just take a couple of the sprites and make it easier for them. And look at this. It's like looking into a mirror. Of course, I won't kill you. Of course, he speaks to me. You guys might have not heard it. He was asking if I was going to murder him. No, I would never do that. Let's go ahead. Let's see all of them together, though. Let's see all of them together. They're kind of doing some like human centipede stuff. Can you guys like split up a little bit? I know. There you go. One of them stopped. Oh, there you go. They're all starting to stop. They all stopped on each other except for the pig. Interesting. But yeah, the only other thing to really show off is uh, mods that have vanities for Minecraft. Vanilla Terraria itself has a creeper vanity. And of course, the more costume mod right here, they got their bunch of Minecraft vanities, which is pretty dope. Should probably just put it on like that. Okay, it's going to look weird either way. Oh, God. This is like terrifying. What the hell? You know, might as well show off a couple of these. I did do my own video showing off this whole entire mod. So you should probably check that out. I think it's just called like, what if Terraria had more Minecraft costumes, something like that. But, uh, you know, these are not too bad. These are great sprites. Like I said, this is exactly how I'd expect a 3D Minecraft model to look on a uh, 2D game. But yeah, let me do that thing I said I was going to try to do where, you know, I'll see if I can make this first person given the uh, camera controls here for the 3D Terraria mod. All right. I feel like honestly, this might be the closest we can get to uh, first person. I feel like if I get any closer, I might not be able to see anything. I can barely see anything as is. Oh, I see a chicken. Jeffrey. The chicken has a name. Interesting. Oh, wait. No, that's the that's the guy. <laughs> I could try. Oh, my God. When you pick up an item, you can't see anything. I could try and get a little bit closer and see if that could work. I don't know. It might look weird. All right. There you go. Terraria in first person. We can see like my shoulder. You can kind of see when I swing my sword. This is actually weird as hell. This is trippy. This is a game I play all the time. And it, it looking like this. Oh, my God. <laughs> this feels so weird. What is that? Is that grass? What is this up here? Is it cactus? Can I mine it? I can't even tell. Can I place a torch? Oh, there you go. I can finally break something. Whoa, that's weird. I can't even tell when I can like break stuff or not. What about this? I have to go like this? No. Weird. Oh, we're getting close to the cactus. Got the cactus. Look at that. Just uh, it's a little bit of depth perception and everything's kind of messed up because of it. But you know, oh my God. What if we fall in this hole? I can't look up and down. So uh, let's, let's see what happens when we fall. Well, actually I can't. When's if I do this? Oh my God. <laughs> let's jump down the hole. Oh my, I can't see, it's too dark, place a torch, dude, this is terrifying, I don't want to play this, place a torch, <laughs> there we go, okay, so the only way for me to look up and down, I have to hit the controls for the 3D mod, there's something down here, I don't know what it is, did it die, I think I killed it, what is that, oh, I killed something else, I had to go like this, oh my god, <laughs> where are we bro, where are we, is this the entrance over here, Whoa. But yeah, that was me turning Terraria into Minecraft. This was a very fun video to record. All the mods will be in the description. All the mods, you know, mainly used in this video, not all the little ones I always have on the side. But yeah, shout out to Rep Miami and the guys for making that Minecraft animal mod. Uh, there might be more added to it in the future. And you know, if you're a Terraria developer, you know, you want to develop a little Minecraft mod, go ahead, do it. I feel like it's fun. Those are two great games. And I hope that more things in the future happen. I hope an official Terraria and Minecraft collab happens. I'm talking about like maybe minecraft makes like a you know skin pack in the future i don't know who knows but this was a very fun video to make make sure you guys follow my twitch and twitter make sure to join my discord and make sure to check out my second youtube channel where i upload my full twitch live streams i love you guys a lot and i will see y'all in the next video